Hey, what's going on everybody? This is hole number three of the Beer Fest Tournament Expert Division Weekend Round. For our tee shot, we want to use an APOC level four and above and a Kingmaker ball. However, we're going to start the shot off with a quarterback level nine plus, and it's going to be a no moving target shot, so don't move your rings until it's time to adjust. We're going to swap over to our APOC Guardian bag and then apply a 5.8 top spin with two right spin. From here, our adjustment is going to be P3 max plus 10% elevation. And then we want to apply max overpower with no curl. We hit great right, but we should still be plenty safe in the fairway. We're going to bounce in the first fairway over the rough and then roll along the sloped fairway down to the left. For a drive distance of 357 yards, make sure you take note of your drive distance. We're going to use this to determine our slider percentage for the approach. All right, for our approach shot, we want to use a guardian level seven plus. We're going to apply max backspin with a half a bar of left spin. Then we want to position ourselves so the second bounce is one square to the right and five squares past the hole. Then referencing our drive distance of 357 yards, we're going to play this approach at P3 plus 30% elevation at 66% slider. If you're using a Guardian level 7, which has 4 less yards of power than a Guardian level 8 and 9, I suggest using Guardian level 8 numbers in your wind app. As the, slider percentage, as the accuracy is the same, but then the slider percentages will correlate to that of the Guardian level 9 that I'm using. We hit perfect. Ball's going to land on the fringe, bounce up past the hole, and then spin back into the cup for the albatross on hole number 3. For further instructions on how to play this hole, make sure you guys click the link below and subscribe to Expert Tournament Guys to Golf Clash Tommy. Good luck in your weekend rounds.